Hey, hope everyone's doing well. I wanted to make a video to talk about what it takes to bring a media room or theater room um, just from an idea to reality. I get calls all the time of people wanting to install something like this in their home, but they have no idea what's needed, what cost is going to be, what price range is, and so forth. And a lot of times they get sticker shock when you start talking to them about everything and it just confuses them and they go buy a big TV and a sound bar and just call it a day. So I just want to kind of put a little video together and just show what's needed as far as equipment goes, um, just a basic budget for a room and so forth, and hopefully you find this of value. So the first components you need in any theater room, in which is kind of the heart of the whole system, is a receiver. Um, all receivers now, everything pretty much integrates into them, all your HDMI ports, your speakers, your network, everything connects to them. And depending on how intricate of a system you put in is gonna dictate what the cost of the receiver will be. But as you can see here, I have a, a PlayStation 4, a Xbox, a Nintendo Switch. There's a Roku tucked in up under there. It's all kind of stuff that's connected right here, but you see the receivers right in the heart of this cabinet. Um, so if we move on to speakers, you have a center channel, spe ch center channel speaker. The center channel speaker takes over all your dialogue, your main voices. It's your hardest working speaker. It's the one that's going to, um, you're going to hear all your voices in your dialogue coming from when you're watching a movie, a show, or anything else. And then from there, you have your front left and your front right speakers. Those are secondary to the center channel speaker. Um, those are going to be your action speakers which you're going to hear voices as well. Um, you're going to hear explosions, action, just anything else that's secondary to just dialogue that was coming from the center channel speaker. Uh, from there, you would have your rear left and rear right speakers. Those here are also known as surround sound speakers. Those speakers are going to be your background noise, your sound effects, and so forth. Then you have your subwoofer. The subwoofer is where all your bass, your explosions, your lows, everything else is going to come from. Um, so that's a basic 5.1 surround sound setup. Um, so again, center channel, front left, front right, rear left, rear right, and subwoofer. From there, you have to decide on whether you want to do a receiver or not a receiver i'm sorry a tv or a projector um projectors are great to give you the huge image that most people want when they think of a theater room but the thing about projectors is it has to be dark in the room for them to perform at optimal level dark or or very dim in the room um projectors have gotten the home projectors have gotten a lot better to where they they show better in lit rooms or, or with some light coming into the room, but they're, also, they're always going to perform best when it's dark. Um, so as you can see here, my projector's on, I can see it, but the picture isn't great because ceiling fan light is on. So my projector is installed back here. I have an Optima 4K projector, which is one of the best 4K projectors or, or entry-level 4K projectors that's on the market. Um, with theater rooms, this stuff can, you can spend as much as you want. I mean, it can be like buying a car with, with doing a theater room. So this is a great entry level 4K projector that's gonna give you a great picture without breaking the bank. But if we go back to the image here. So that's with the light on. So if I turn the light off, picture gets a lot better. So to summarize everything, a basic theater or media room set up with Dolby Digital Surround Sound consists of a receiver, five speakers, one subwoofer, which makes 5.1 Dolby Digital Surround Sound, um, a big TV or projector, 
Then if you're doing projector, you also have to figure out which type of screen, a fixed frame screen that's gonna sit there like a big picture, a rollout screen, a motorized screen. What do you want the room to look like is what it ultimately comes down to. Um, but as far as cost goes, entry level theater room easily is around the $6,000 mark and up for equipment and install. It takes a lot of time to put it all together. You pretty much get what you pay for as with anything else in life, but a, a good number to have in mind when thinking about a theater room for a decent equipment or entry level equipment, just not crap that you'll find on the white van scams or um, just anything that you'll find just from a bargain bin, but just decent entry level equipment. Um, install setup configuration and everything is easily around the six thousand dollar and up mark um a realistic range for a decent room is anywhere from six to ten thousand dollars hopefully some of you found this this video of value if you did please hit like subscribe to my feed um, i'll be uploading videos weekly and reach out to us if you have any questions or would like us to do a project for you we service customers in and around the atlanta metro area look forward to hearing from you Take care.